Hi, this is Lisa and welcome to my channel. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, this is where we left off. Last time we were working on the barn. And you can see here, Tina is talking to her doppelganger while they tack up. Total Tommy is totally bored. Uh, we've got somebody playing with the ball in there. We have two wheels for a future project. And we have the tack room not finished yet. In the last video, everything was done except this wall and the door. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. We also have to do this side wall that is gonna be an opening door as well. So let's continue and this video, because it was done previously, it's gonna be a mix match of the old style of videos and the new. So I'm just gonna look after that one section and then the next videos will work on the fun stuff inside the tack room, including the saddle racks and all sorts of fun things. So let's get going. Another thing I wanna mention is this side wall. You can see the one I have here actually got damaged, so I'm gonna redo that. Uh, don't throw stuff like that on under boxes. And that is what it's gonna look like, and it is gonna open so that you can then take pictures inside as well. On the other side of this wall, we're gonna set up a show setup with curtains so that you can do a show uh, ribbons and all that kind of stuff on this wall. So it's gonna be part of the tack room and part of the show setup.
Hi everyone, I'm back talking here. Uh, the reason I didn't finish this before is because I didn't have any hinges. So here I have some 15 millimeter hinges and I'm gonna fold these so they're together. So we have them the right way. And on the door, the side without the handle, I'm gonna place the hinge like this so it's facing back and the pin is behind the door. And I'm gonna glue those on. I'm gonna glue three, one in the one at top bottom and one in the center. And I'm gonna make sure when I glue these that this is open and the pin doesn't get any glue on it. Now I'm not using the nails that come with it because they're too big and when the hinge closes it leaves a big gap. So we're just going for glue. Here you can see the three hinges glued on with the little pin piece stuck at the back and they're straight and these are not glued, they can still move. Now leave that long enough to dry. I've used enough glue so that it can uh, really grab on there. So it's gonna need a while to dry. Now that the hinges are dry, I'm folding them over and just making sure that it fits inside. But I noticed, however, right here, it's a little stuck. So I'm just going to sand down that inside right here and touch that up with some stain. Once you're happy with the way it fits, you apply glue to the other side of these hinges. And once you've got the glue applied to all three hinges, you're going to stick that on in the right position and then open the door. Keeping those in place. On the inside, I've used some paper to wedge up the edge to keep it even. And here, I've made sure that the hinges are the same amount of distance away from the front. I keep an eye on this so it doesn't go out of whack. That should take a few minutes there to dry enough to leave alone.